sense? And it has conditioned us to we want God to move the same way. Amen. I don't mind waiting. You're lying. Because you wanted it and you question, we have the audacity to question God and say, why hasn't it come yet? Jesus. And because we can't make God move any faster, hey. then he wants to move. Hey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's the only entity that we can't manipulate. Come on. Amen. 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 He's not going to do nothing until he sees it's the right time. Yes. Amen. Amen. I tell the saints all the time, if you don't have it, you're not supposed to have it. <laughs> Either you haven't grown to the maturity to handle it, mm -hmm. or you keep failing the class to get you to the place to have it. Mm -hmm. Or it's just not time yet. The Bible talks about due season. Yeah. All your life, you're supposed to be peeling off, sanctifying yourself yeah, yeah, yeah. to be more and more like Jesus. Those are classes. When you fail a class, God will make you go back. Yeah. <laughs> might be a different guy, might be a different girl, might be a different place. You might even be in a different state. Mm -hmm. But when you sit back and really look at it, whoop, it's the same class. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm all over again. And you will continue to stay in that class. See, God doesn't have a no child left behind, Lord. Amen. You fail, you take the class again. Yes. You fail. Some people sadly get stuck taking the same class all their lives. Amen. I feel sorry for Ray Rice, I think he's the football player, and I feel sorry for his wife. I think they're making an example of him. They're trying to adjust my mic. Amen. If you weren't going to do it at first, why would you crucify him now? I think he should have got some time and some mandatory counseling from the courts. But he was great by What he needs, he's not going to get. Uh -huh. Unless somebody comes along and leads him to Christ. Yeah. Amen. Leads his wife. See, it's sad that he did that to her and she married. That's <laughs> right. That's right. Because women want what they want to. Amen. That's it. We don't want to wait either. Wow. See, nobody yeah. said anything. Amen. Amen. And he probably punched her out because she didn't do what he wanted when he wanted her to do it. Amen. Because men don't want to wait. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody wants to wait anymore. That's right. And we, keep, we don't see that we end up in sin. We end up in trouble. Mm -hmm. And we've just been committed to wait. That's we, right. We could avoid a whole lot of heartache, disappointment. Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. God knows what he's doing. Yes. 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 You know, young people think they gotta have a boyfriend. For what? I <laughs> ask one time for what? He can't give you a car. Amen. He don't know the how. <laughs> he ain't got no money. He <laughs> might have a piece of well money don't matter because we in love. Okay. Go ahead, go. Just keep right on. Yeah, wait till you're home. Wait till you come home with all the lights out. Right, right, right. Wait till you turn on the faucet and you get attacked back. Right. 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 Go ahead. Are you dragging all them dirty clothes to the laundry man? And I get Because he ain't got no money. Right. He ain't got no credit. Go ahead and tell it. There you go. Tell it. I was so blessed, thank you, precious, because people don't want to support a preacher that tell the truth. See, if I got up here and say, and the Lord said, you will receive that money that you, but hallelujah, somebody say hallelujah. See, y'all laughing because we don't do that. We preach. Amen. 
But I ain't going to tell you nothing God didn't say. That's right. Amen. Amen. And that whole setup, once again, mm -hmm. is to get the money out your pocket. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the truth. If you don't give because the word said, then keep your money. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Oh, she don't want our money. I'm not a she, I'm a pastor right now. Show your right. I'm a she to him. Show your right. But I'm pastor. Go ahead and tell it. Yeah. Go ahead and tell it. If you're not giving your time and your offering, because that word says to do it, you might as well have kept it. That's right. It's not going to do nothing for you. That's right. You got to do it because you love God. Amen. You got to do it because you want God to return. Yes. But you're not doing it just for the return. You're doing it because, oh, how I love Jesus. I trust Jesus. I'm going to be faithful. You know what? And I'm going to give you scripture because some of y'all are so religious. And let me tell you right now, religion is of the devil. Jesus never told us to be religious. He said build relationship. Amen. That's why you can come out with things like, I put my religion down and tell you what I think. You never had a relationship. Because if you have a relationship, the Holy Spirit will say, don't say that. That's right. That's right. That's right. Just, uh, That's it. Because we walk by faith. We live by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. So we don't do what we want to do. Amen. Y'all have that been um, committed and become on Thursday nights, and you learned you don't go by your five senses. Amen. Amen. That is so dangerous. Yes, That's what got us with men that annihilated our lives, Amen. with women that made us look like pure fools. Because yeah. we went by, oh, that felt good. Jesus. See, when Jesus is first, Feelings don't come yeah, first. Right. Amen. You don't do because you feel it. You check in with the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Holy Spirit said no. Uh -huh. Now you have a choice. Because you still want it. Yes. Can we be honest? We still want it. Oh, yeah. There's nobody in here didn't enjoy yeah. sin. Yeah. I know you want to play that game, but it's nobody in here didn't enjoy sin. Amen. 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 We didn't enjoy the consequences. That's right. That's right. Every action PBA has a what? Yeah. Yeah. Every single thing you do right. is going to have an effect Amen. right then Amen. on your life. Yes. Yes. Down the road. The devil doesn't tell you that Amen. because we're geared into immediate gratification. Uh -huh. We've bought into the world spirit and we call ourselves children of God. That's right. right. Proverbs 3, 4, 5, and 6 go there. Thank Some you of you know that's Lord. my favorite scripture. And it, it corrects me, it corrals me, it puts a leash on me, it spanks me. Proverbs 3, 4, 5, and 6. Proverbs. You're not in Proverbs. You're in 3, 4. I'm sorry, go to 5. I'm not sorry, I apologize. God didn't make anything sorry. Either apologize, repent, but don't ever say I'm sorry. You're not sorry. You can have whatsoever you say. You keep saying you're sorry, you act sorry. Yeah. Read. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Remain not to thy own understanding. Stop right there. Read it again. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. One more time for me. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lean not to your own position. Trust, faith, committed to God. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Thank quiet. Thank you, Lord. Amen. It doesn't say trust in your mind. Amen. With all thy heart. Amen. And lean not unto God's understanding. <coughs> How many times a day do you check in with you? Or are you just doing your thing? Right. Amen. I can remember one time God told me, don't go down that street. My house was right down that street. He said, I want you to turn right here. And it was the hardest thing. My mind was going, this is crazy. This ain't God. 
That is, you getting all spookified now. God would be talking to you about driving down those street. Go ahead, down the street. Go ahead, go. My mind is just. Uh -huh. But I turned. A few seconds after I turned down a side street, which was going to take me four blocks down, all the way back around to my house, I heard a loud crash sound. See, there was a car in front of me uh -huh. going the same way. It was a massive accident. Amen. Both cars sustained serious injuries, injuries, and one person was killed. Okay. I didn't know that was going to happen. Okay. Yeah. But God said, I want you to turn. And, and you notice he talks all so softly. Yes, he does. It's not like, you need to turn the car right now. <laughs> I want yeah. you to turn. Yes. My mind was talking loud. Mm -hmm. But not the spirit. Mm -hmm. He just said, I want you to turn right here. Um, Didn't make any sense. But he said, turn. Yes. I thank God afterwards that I obeyed him. Thank you, Lord. That war that went on is a war you'll fight the rest of your life. Yes. Amen. Do I obey God or do I obey me? Uh -huh. You will fight that 24 hours a day, Amen. seven days of the week. Lean not to your own understanding. That was a perfect example of not leaning to your own understanding. Yes. Because we really don't know what we're doing. Amen. We really don't know. We go to Matthew 6.24. We really don't know what we're doing. The Bible talks about a wavering person in the book of James. A person who's in and out, up and down. You're not being committed. You're not being faithful. Because the devil is tricking you in your mind. You know, people have a lot of excuses. And I, as a pastor, I'm looking around and I see families missing. Families that I talked to this week said, I'll be there. I'll be there. Jesus. I know, Pastor. I should have been. What we don't get is the devil is setting us up. Amen. Amen. Without the word, you don't make it. Mm -hmm. But you keep thinking that you can do it. That's right. See, that's the trick of the mind. Mm -hmm. That the devil, I got this. I'm grown. I can handle this. You can't handle it no more Amen. than the kids can handle it. Amen. I can't handle it no more than the kids can handle it. Amen. You got to be wise enough to know if I don't learn the word, I can't do the word. Yeah. Amen. No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Yeah. He cannot <coughs> say that word. Sir. Say it nice and loud. Sir. Now again, Sir. you cannot serve God and mammon or the world. Amen. You cannot do it. Amen. It's called confusion. You can't have your cake and eat it too. Amen. Serving God. Here we go. When are you committed to this place to serve? God brought that up to me just as plain as day. He said, when are they serving me? When they're on the jobs? See, we justify everything. But I tell people on my job about Jesus. Yeah, okay. Where are you getting, where's your storehouse, according to Malachi? Where's the, where's the storehouse? It's right here. What are you serving? And I'm not even talking to the teachers and the staff that works at the school. Praise God for them, but I'm talking about serving the ministry. Amen. Amen. Well, I don't have time, Pastor. No, no. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love God. God knows my heart, Pastor. Mm -hmm. Your heart is your mind. Yeah. Yeah. And he said your mind and my mind was decidedly wicked. 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 Yes. So what are you talking about? God knows your heart. What are you talking about? Uh, God know your actions. I tell everybody, love is an action word. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Yeah. Don't tell me you love me and don't do nothing for me. Yeah. Yesterday we were out, Bishop was at the house and the Deacon Riddick and James and they were uh, getting the, our gutters cleaned out and all. And I thought, what a blessing. Somebody's there helping Ellis clean the gutters. It's not a glamorous job. Nobody would know about it unless I said something. But God. The Bible says if you bring a cup of water to a prophet, oh, yes. what a reward you gain. Never ending reward for a cup of water. Can you imagine what Deacon Riddick and James gain by bringing to the bishop a break? and a shovel, and getting up on the ladder, and it was raining yesterday, and cleaning nasty leaves out of a gutter. Yeah. And, and I came home, and I looked at the yard, and I went, oh my goodness, it looks so nice. Serving. Yeah. I don't have time. I want pastor, you know I love you, G. I love you, pastor. Amen. I just don't have time. See, I'm busy working. Boy, I hear the roach pee. I, I, I got to work. I got to pass a bishop don't understand. They got it, man. You don't know anything about our personal life. Too much is given. We get very little time at home. Yesterday morning we were here taking another college course for the school. Yeah. From the chair, the head of the Department of Education for the University of Richmond. Which is an awesome blessing. Yeah. Amen. But for the last three Saturdays we were yeah. in school. Okay. Usually there's a Saturday out the month. Sister, well, I stay in the bed, and my husband fix me breakfast in bed. I get to just chill. Mm -hmm. I haven't had a chill, you know, no way. Mm -hmm. Because I'm too busy serving. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm too busy serving. So that means I run downstairs, get up early, and run down to the laundry room, and put clothes in the machine before I take my shower, get ready for work. Because I've got to, because I can't put God second. Mm -hmm. Right. He's gotta be first. Because yes. I'm committed. Yeah. I'm committed. Most definitely. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna work the worldly schedule, my personal schedule, around God's schedule. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not my schedule. Not my schedule. Uh -huh. Friday night, y'all know it's usually our date night. We didn't have a date this Friday night. Because there were a lot of things we needed to do. And Saturday morning here, we were learning. <coughs> Nine o'clock in the morning, I was at McDonald's buying breakfast for my staff. I was going to be in class. Because I'm committed to doing that. If they're going to come on in on a Saturday morning to learn, at least I'll just wear my biscuit and have some coffee and drink. Absolutely. Absolutely. The world would do it. Amen. Amen. Deacon Riddick was, he was at one of our meetings right before school opened because he works here part time. And I ordered from Famous Dave's. And he said, Pastor, I have something to say at the end of the meeting. I was like, oh, y'all know Deacon Riddick doesn't say much. He said, I want to thank you because at the VA they give you a cold hot dog and a small little styrofoam cup of juice. He said, I just had Famous Dave's ribs and chicken and beef. And cornbread, he said, I just want to say hallelujah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I said, well, if he had his hot dogs, I should be able to get famous days. Right. All right, all right. My desire is for everybody in this church to have a nice, decent car, yes. a nice home, Amen. a little bit of money in the bank. Amen. Amen. But that comes from putting God first. Yes. Amen. Amen. Being committed to the things of God. Amen. Being committed to the things of God. Yes. Go to Genesis 6-5. I want to show you a couple things and I'm almost finished. 
Are you trying to serve two masters? Who's master of your life? When God says pray, do you stop? Or are you too busy to pray? The devil is killing prayer and the body of Christ. Uh -huh. yes. Prayer lock in people will have 50 million excuses why they can't come and pray. We have prayer from 6.30 to 7 on Thursday nights. And shame on you people who don't come on Thursday. Because you're too busy. You're too tired. Okay, let me let, have a little inside peek at your life. And I'll understand what's going on. If you're not prospering in your life, then the word is missing somewhere. Amen. Amen. You following the word is missing somewhere. Mm -hmm. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continuously. And that's Genesis, but if we look today, yeah. Genesis is repeating itself. Amen. Amen. And I say with great boldness that we're near some kind of ending. Yeah. Nobody knows when Jesus Amen. will come. Amen. But this country has gone to the dogs. Amen. And I believe the only thing holding it together right now is the prayers and the lives of the righteous. Yeah. Yeah. I really believe that yeah. with all my heart. Because in America, we're doing whatever we imagine. Amen. And if you speak up against it, like with homosexuality and lesbianism, they want to say you're homophobic. I don't hate anybody. Amen. Sin is sin. Amen. Their sin is no greater than our sin. Amen. Sin is sin. But when our country starts saying, oh, it's okay, and you ought to be married, and public school has books called My Mommy Is My Daddy, and My Daddy Is My Mommy, and it's required teaching from uh, scholastic books, we're in trouble. Amen. 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 We're doing every imagination. But he says the thoughts of the what? Thoughts of the what? Uh -huh. What is he talking about? He's not talking about this thing. No. He's talking about our mind. I keep telling you, this is the core of your physical being. Uh -huh. They do not pronounce you dead when this stops. That's right. They pronounce you dead when this stops. Yeah. When they can no longer get brain waves, you are dead. Yeah. What do they say? The heart is not controlling you. The mind is. The thoughts of the heart, the thoughts of our minds are continually evil. Yeah. Remember I told you about the cassettes? Yeah. Yeah. I had to bring out one because the young people didn't know what the heck I was talking about on Thursday night. What's a cassette? It was a cassette. And a Walkman. Yeah. And too many people say it and y'all want to know your age. It's okay. I'm proud to say I'm 64. Yeah. I look at people younger than me and they look so old. Yeah. Yeah. They look so beat up. Uh -huh. yeah. The Bible says he'll beautify us with That's holiness. The word. Amen. Yes. There's something beautiful Thank you, Lord. about holiness that yes. comes through the skin. Amen. Yes. It's, it's miraculous. So man, sister Samantha was talking yesterday about her previous life, and she said, if I had been brought up a different way, I'd probably gotten to this point in my life sooner. And I didn't say anything because I was listening. Sometimes you just need to listen. Mm -hmm. But I looked at her face, and I said to myself, she's a beautiful 20-year-old. Amen. You know, it's something about holiness and purity. It just, 